each. See, I think people should understand why they want to go on that tangent. That just like they did when Prof was nominated in 2020. Was it 2020? Yes. Yeah. And you heard the commentary. Mm. One to me and the rest. It was all about her age, how she looks, how she walks, how she talks. It was nothing about her records mm. as a person. Today, still the same person. After all these years, they still do not have anything about her. So let's find something else. And it is now her age. Seriously. If I was in parliament that day, as Nancy would be a member of parliament for some something, and I'll sit there. And my leadership was trying to stop a penny marking that day. I'll plead with them not to. They shouldn't have asked him to stop and apologize. No. They should have allowed him to say what he wanted to say. Then they'll ask for permission from the speaker and respond to him in equal manner. Measure. Allow him. Let him go. It's his age, right? Yeah. He's coming to talk about prof, Prof's age. Allow him to say it. The fact that Prof is old and that he, she is 70 and what? There's no future and blah, blah, blah. When he is done, then you take the opportunity and then you respond to him in equal measure. Then we end it there. Then we close. So, I don't know if Apenyo is not aware that Prof is 70, the same age as the Kufuado when he was elected president. Mewa. Yeah. So, what, what, where is the age matter coming in from? The same age that when President Ukufado was the elected president is what Prof is at the time, at this time. So to start the discussion based on age, it's a lost one. They have nothing to say. If age is the issue right now, then Apenyo and the rest should... I mean, the president is actually turning... 80 this month, right? Yeah, we are in month. March. Yeah. This, month. this month. Oh, come on. The president will be 80 this month. And he still enjoys unflinching loyalty from the likes of Apanyo Marking, who is saying that somebody is 70 and the person is old. Is there any logic in that argument in the first place? There's none. There's none. I don't see any. Because you cannot be defending an 80 year old man. And then you are talking down on a 70-year-old woman. Why? Is it because she's a woman? Is that it? Because Apenyo right now is doing a hatchet job at, the, at, at Parliament for President Ekufuado. And he would say anything that the President asked him to say. You are by, bowing to an 80-year-old man. Then you come and talk about a 70-year-old. How does that sound to him? Currently, is Apenyo not in parliament doing a hajet man job for President Ukuvado? A bill that enjoyed or received overwhelming support from Ghanaians. He is doing the bidding of President Ukuvado, an 80-year-old man in parliament to impede it. They are coming to talk about a 70-year-old woman. So the only thing you can ask is, is he making the comments because now is a woman? Then he is called majority leader. I think he should learn. We have seen majority leaders in this country. A lot of them. They were not behaving this way. That is not the conduct of majority leaders. We've seen, if we've not seen Kra, we have seen how Nigeria, we've seen Abambabi. In fact, even his, uh, what, what is it called? His predecessor. Predecessor. Say Chemensa. 
Bonzo will not do some of these things. He should learn. Because we are already calling him majority leader. So we should see. Yes, we know that he's there to do. Hey, 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 let's go. But we are calling him majority leader. So he should dignify the position of a majority leader. Do you get it? Hey. He shouldn't, he should, we, they even call, go to a extent of calling him leader of the house. Mm. They call him leader of the house. So he should be speaking as a leader. And leaders speak to unify the space, not to divide it. So he should be learning on the job. Now I can say that he doesn't know what it takes to be a majority leader. Speaking like that, no. Uh, so you should be learning. In fact, I have not seen any better succession plan than what the NDC, led by John Dramani Mahama, is doing with the selection of Professor Jaina Nopokwajiman. I have it. That for the first time, there's a chance for us to have a woman vice president. A woman a step away from the presidency. That is historic. Her face alone being on the ticket, on the ballot paper, is history. I have not seen any yet. So the likes of Apenyo Makin should think better and stop this age thing. It won't fly. It won't go anywhere. Age. We are talking about age, not the competence of the woman. In this era, age and time, we are talking about age. When we have an 80-year-old man as our president. Come on. Sena, you see, because of the system that has been in place for years, it is difficult for people to accept a woman in leadership position. In fact, you would select the most overqualified woman and people will still be asking questions. Yet, any man at all is okay. We would accept any man at all. But go and bring the most qualified woman even more qualified than the men that they will parade, will still have to defend why we should a be a woman. That is the system that has been in place. Maybe people like Apenyo Makin are still in that stone age. They don't know where in the era in which we are now. You see, the two men leading this country, including he, Apenyo Makin, and his likes, Prof is 100 times more qualified than them. Abel Yuma King was a lawyer before politics, right? Hmm. He should come and tell us his track record in law. What he did in law? Yes. So I don't want to say that because of politics, he's where he is. He should come and so that we can, I mean, now compare his track records in law. And he did something else aside law before politics. No, what, what I know is law. Uh -huh. So he should bring that. His track records in law. Then we also tell him where prof was. Academia. Then we also bring him her track records there. Then we will start talking and we'll be having the debate. And you see, we cannot start to compare Prof's track record in academia to whatever Apenyo Makin did in law. Because it won't match. And so I think they should go back to the drawing board and think about how they are going to counter this nomination uh, or selection from the NDC. The Professor Jaina Nopukwajiman bit of it. They should look for something else. And I'm sure that will be a difficult task. They will not get it. Because this tangent of age, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I heard Anna Dompre that 
uh, anytime the minority gets the chance, they attack their what? Uh, 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 their flag bearer. Yeah. Senna, if my minority, the minority caucus in parliament, really want to attack the person of Dr. Baumia, she can't be a move. There will be nothing left. There of. will be nothing left of him. And I have listened to the minority side of parliament. Anytime they are speaking about Dr. Baumia, I have not heard a single person going on a personal attack. I haven't. If there is, they should let me hear it. They should point it to me that on this time, at this time and date, on this day. This person from the minority side of parliament attacked the person of Dr. Baumia. Then we'll talk. It is always about his performance. It is always about his credibility. It is always about the things he has said in the past. They play back to him and his performance. I have not heard anybody attacking him personally. There's so much to attack when they want to go on a personal attack. That tangent, if they want to go, there's so much about Dr. Baumia, but I've not heard anybody going on that tangent. So I'm not done prayer. Should point it to me, then we'll talk. We'll have a discussion on that. Do you have? <laughs> I don't. Is there any instance? No, maybe I'm mistaken. So somebody should tell me that uh, Ablakwa or Sam George or somebody from the minority attacked Dr. Baumier's person. It is always about his poor delivery. It is always about his recklessness. And those we have evidence to show. But if you want to go on a personal attack, me, I can. I can give you. But you see, because they are thinking and they know that those are not the things to be stating at this point. None of them has ever attacked him, his person. And so I'm not done pressure. You get it right. Nobody is attacking the person of your flag bearer. And so if you want to go on the tangent of attacking the person of Professor Jinano Pokwajima, be ready that people would respond to you. And when they do, don't come back crying. Take up any working, if not for politics, would he ever have the chance of sharing the same platform with Professor Jinano Pokwajima? Can he ever? If not for politics. The politics is also something. I'm, I'm saying, if not for the game of politics, can he ever share the same platform with Professor Jinano Pokwajima? They shouldn't let us go there. I see. They shouldn't let us go there. He is educated. I'm sure by now you should know that there are some things that we don't do gutter politics with. And this is one. The kind of dirty gutter politics they do. There are some things we don't play with. One is this. Come on. You can't be praising an 18 year old. Why? If there is no, if age is not a what? A barrier. A, a barrier to the presidency. Why should it be a barrier to the vice president's office? Why? If you decide that 18 year old man is fit for the office of the president, why are you now saying that a 70 year old woman cannot occupy? the office of the vice president the only thing i would say is that because it's a woman this time you think if if the ndc or the mpp should appoint a 70 year old man we'll be having this discussion we won't we won't be having this discussion if prof was a man mm. but because it's a woman yeah, sitting here today and talking about age. No. Thank you. We shouldn't go there. Uh, Laya. Yes. 
Oh, se medium se danum when some of the two are in so. Okay, yeah, ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, when you when you forgot uh -huh. the newspaper uh -huh. review uh -huh. and then made your comment. Newspaper review to be a who has a blue one, I am not. I was always told the aircraft room before you move. Hey, I don't know what to ask. I understand. To me, who are dear, sir, a quamina, yeah, a cassassemo, our parliament, sir, a MD Samuel Kuno, I knew beyond fat, sir, a year prof. Jin na no poku ajima na wo mo afa ne se eh running mate no mi hu ya wo ka age asem no eh na e mo anwa because ye wo high president edi be 79 mm eko 80 se mo ati onye nya enti no we di 79 me ba se o de 80 ya but obi a wonya 70 no a ya fa running mate no o hu problem with it but the way di 79 na se 80 na no no ye president ni de you don't have any problem with that. Mm, but me be say when the catch re a ye kwame na se a ye automatic se ebia uh GM anywa and this amount you kuno uh vice president and a bay um flag bearer. And as I said, and and follow sa like that. In uh -huh. fact, in the case of uh Elijah Liu Mahama, mm. it didn't work. Yeah, and fast. Yeah. So me who's a and someone na uh <laughs> I'm going to mark in a canoe. Mimi is so infamy. And moreover, no, and yes, I hear ye debate about a be a flag bearer and running mate of these two political parties and this MPP. Yeah, can state of the nation address one sem and one common yabo. Oh, my civil view. So, and on our co final, did you can't go to Casa and my menu and now when you're 70 and now you blow your father, Minister of Education, why you're here, Nadia and Nano Nayade. Mm. Eh, no, 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 and the fact that the NDC is not giving a future in their decisions. I'm like, Senna, if you even take the four years of John Mahama and the NDC and compare their achievements to the eight years of Ikufado Baumia, eight years of Ikufado Baumia, to John Mahama's four years, compare and let's see if there's any arguments to be made with this uh, future succession and what have you planned. No, it's about who can deliver. Nancy. The truth is that, and this is where my problem is. So, you see, think about it. We have no future. Oh. See, even if uh, it's a hundred year old that will find, who will find a solution to where we are, we should put that hundred year old in office. He should be happy that somebody of the caliber of Professor Nana Jinopokwajiman has agreed to try to solve the problem they are living. I told you. Do you know that, Nancy? Do you, know, you see, sometimes uh, when you think about it, see, you have debts. <laughs> You have debt too, like plenty debt, debt that is piling and threatening to break your neck. You, you have the, in fact, you have the privilege of passing down that debt to somebody else. When was the last time they paid a penny of the monies that they've collected? The monies that they've collected in the name of debt, are they not negotiating to kick it down the road for somebody else to come and solve? Hmm. They think it's a succession plan that will solve that problem. It's thought. The thinking of the persons that oh. you put in office oh. is critical moving forward, not how old they are. They don't get it. If it is a hundred year old that we can put in office to solve the problem you are kicking down the road, we should do it. You cannot solve your own problems. As you see there, all you are trying to do is to try to manage the problem ah, and hand over to the Somebody. next person. Hoping that you can... So, if you stay in office, if Baumia comes, they'll continue to manage the problem. Manage it. Hold it. Hold it. Uh, until they're able to pass it on to somebody who attempts to solve it. And then you have the temerity to talk about succession plan. Succession to who? For what? For a future that you've destroyed already. Where's the future? Which future? Which future? Look at the current unemployment situation we are confronted with. Companies are going down. What would you find a job to do? Which future are you leaving us? You need that chain. Which future is he talking about? What we should be interested in is the present. Too. If we don't face the present, the future is problematic. Fix 
fixing the present alone, do you know how long it will take us? It will require thoughts and planning and thinking. People will know what they are doing. That is what we should be thinking about. Which succession plan? <laughs> he should have been stood in parliament and be apologizing on behalf of this government that they have put forward over this last eight years. That you promise not to borrow. You've borrowed us to the point where you are drowning us. You are not paying it. You are pushing it down the road for somebody else to come and pay. And you are, you are not leaving anything that they can use to pay. What would the person use to pay? At least when John Mahama was leaving office, he left you $250 million or something to pay, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the Kufo bond. Mm -hmm. He left you something. What have you left for the person that will come? That the person can say, oh, if, for example, the next day after he comes into government, there's a bond that fold you, I'll use that money to pay. Those are the questions you should be answering, not going on useless tangents. They should be happy that somebody of the caliber of Professor Nana Junopokwajiman, who doesn't need to sit in the vice president's office to say that I have done something for my life, does Prof need to sit in the vice president's office for her to say, I'm satisfied with what I've done in life? She doesn't need to even be president. She has true personal effort, done so much to the point where she was considered worthy to be the first female vice chancellor. What else? In academia. The, her chosen field, she has excelled. When he put her into the Ministry of Education, a cautious, thoughtful approach to everything she did. Did she hand over a, a, a broken down education system to them, like what they are delivering now? What did she hand over to them? What you're delivering to us now? If somebody comes into office today, the education system that you people are living, the senior high schools that you are living, the state in which you are living them, are you saying it is something better than what Prof left you? Did Prof leave you this? Where well, children cannot eat, cannot find food to eat. People are drinking soup that, that they don't know which color it is. Whether it is granola soup or palm nut soup, they can't even tell. People are eating gari every day. Did Prof leave that to you? Which education sector are you talking about? Which education sector? Are you saying that what you are living today is better than what she left you? Where is the best thing? What you live today is better than what she left you. Please, the fact that people still pretend, and I'm surprised that Ghanaians still think that we are in normal times. See, when the, uh, they said when the frog dies, you know it's left, right? Mm. Don't worry. The funeral has not been announced yet. Because the frog is still moving about <laughs> and acting like as if they are alive. <laughs> And there are some two people supporting him, pretending that, oh, they are doing. So we think that Ghana is still the same. <laughs> and so he's acting, talking about succession plan, that they have a successor in office. The person was supposed to solve our problems. Mm -hmm. Who can even talk about the issue he talked about in 2016? What was the last time he talked about economy? When they put him on the platform to talk about his vision, how many minutes did he spend on economy? Didn't he spend time saying that he has developed this app, that app, as if apps... <laughs> are what we need. Apps are roots. Apps are hospitals. Your hospitals are struggling to pay electricity bills. Your national health insurance scheme is just in name. People are now afraid to even do what they do under Muhammad. They can't even protest. Your power sector is crumbling. You complain about the power sector, Muhammad, the difficulties that he inherited, that he attempted to solve, and in fact did a fantastic job at it. Provide a solutions for you that you can't sustain. Then every day you wake up in the morning. Now it's a session plan. People's age. President Kufuado is 80. It's almost 80. So what are you talking about? See, we are confront, we are going to be confronted with a problem. Please, nobody should come and see using this politics of I am I'm young, I am the future. No, 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 no. You see. There are many futures in Ghana. The future, there's plenty. Alaska is here. Lawyer is here. In fact, compared to the to those of you who are talking, Mika, I am more future than you. There are people, the future, what is the average age of the Ghanaian now? The future is plenty. If we are just looking for future, 
Ah, university, go there. Pick one brilliant young man and make him president. Then we know that you are thinking about future because of age. No, what we need is how to solve the present. The person who walks into office the next day needs to have able hands who are able to assist him. Of course, it's going to be a him because you cannot see a, a female on the front uh, on the on the ticket that is capable of winning the next election. Hands that are able to assist him to solve our present. Else, which future? Succession for what? We would have sold this country. Uh, please let me pick your calls. Zero five nine 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 two two nine two two zero five nine 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 two two nine two. When it came to my radio station, cry. Close it down. You're thinking about future. I didn't think about my future. How many years did I spend uh, sitting on without uh, any any income? You think about future. Good morning.